In this video, we're going to be making a my block. So what my blocks are is they're like functions in regular programming. So you just make them to save time. So yeah, instead of writing everything out, you could just use a my block. So in this video, we're going to be making a my block for the advanced line following program, which we demonstrated in the previous programming video. So here's the program for following the line. And now to make the my block, we have to select it and go to tools and my block builder. So the first thing you do is you name your my block. We're going to call it line following. Pretty simple name. And in the description, we're going to say my block for the advanced line following program. Um, which has infinite cases. So now we're just going to randomly select an icon over here. And now what we need to do is add parameters. So in programming, if you know, um, parameters are like things that you enter every time you call the program and it uh, it changes accordingly so for example for our line following program let's make our first parameter time and it's set to a number and the default value is zero it's not really important but okay so right now it's a parameter for time so whenever you use the block um, you you get to enter it yourself and then later we're going to make it so that the program changes according to that so now for this parameter we go to parameter icons and let's just choose a random one this one looks good for time and now we need to add another parameter for gain so gain is something that we mentioned in our last video one fall for following the line so gain is when it modifies how much the robot reacts to a change in the light so it might be kind of confusing but it we mentioned it earlier in our previous videos so we're also going to make this a number in fact why don't we make this a slider from 0 to 1 And for this, for the parameter icon, um, let's just use this because it looks cool. I don't know. And our final parameter will be speed. So speed will also be a number. And let's also make this a slider from 0 to 100. And for the icon, we could really put anything. I'll just put it as this, this hashtag, this number symbol. And now we click finish. So now we get this. It's our previous program. And then you get this little block with the parameters, time, gain, and speed. And so now we have to plug it in where it really matters so for gain we would plug it in here and over here so that is where gain goes it, it so it was a ratio over here which was also we explained in our previous program and for time Let's first put it for the loop. Let's make the loop um, be for time. And we can just plug that in here. So it's going to be time in seconds. And finally, for speed, we'll put it 
over here this was meant to be your speed and also over here so I guess we're done so what we had to do basically again is we selected everything we created the block we made the parameters which were the variables which you have to enter and then the rest was just plugging it in where we actually needed it by dragging and dropping these wires so over here we have our my blocks and so in a new program if you wanted to add it you just drag it over here and look over here you see our parameters the variables so you could just enter this let's just put random values and yeah so right now if what it should do is it should run um, the earlier program for following the line it should run that for 10 seconds with 0 0.3 gain and 55 speed so my blocks are very useful you could use them for anything really just to shorten your program and to keep it orderly and also even if you don't want any parameters if you just wanted to repeat the same thing every time um, so you could just create it without parameters and you, you just see it as an empty block with nothing here and again it will save a lot of time so instead of repeating it wherever you wanted it in your program you could just um, drag it out from the my blocks tab at the bottom so we're done